Hi, my name is Patrick and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice and mindful test prep. Coming at you today with an SAT math question. This was question 18 from section 3, the no calculator section, on the SAT that was administered in April of 2017. Right there, you could pause the video, pause it, take a crack at it yourself, and then unpause the video and watch the explanation. See how you did. Could be good. Because we're getting in there. It reads, students in a science lab are working in groups to build both a small and a large electrical circuit. A large circuit uses four resistors and two capacitors, and a small circuit uses three resistors and one capacitor. There are 100 resistors and 70 capacitors available, and each group must have enough resistors and capacitors to make one large and one small circuit. What is the maximum number of groups that could work on this lab project? A lot of numbers going on here. But they're asking me about the maximum number of groups that could do something, which means that my supply of resistors and capacitors must in some way limit how many groups there can be. Well, how much equipment does each group need? They need enough to make a large and a small. So if you combine them, that's seven resistors and three capacitors. And they tell me that in total, I have 100 resistors and 70 capacitors. So I wonder, which item of equipment is going to limit how many groups there can be? If each group needs seven resistors, then I could divide 100 by seven to figure out how many groups there can be. And if each group needs three capacitors, then I could divide 70 by three to find out how the capacitors might limit my group number. We get on a long division game, 100 divided by seven, goes into 10 once, so you put the seven on the bottom, 10 minus seven equals three, bring down the zero, seven goes into 34 times, so all the way to 28 now, 30 minus 28 equals two, put in the decimal and bring down the invisible zero, and now we have seven goes into 22 times. And it doesn't really matter past that point, because it already says 14.2 groups, which is not possible. Okay, so from a resistor's point of view, we can only have 14 full groups. How about the capacitors? Well, we have 70 divided by 3, which I can tell you off the top of my head is going to be bigger than 20, because 60 divided by 3 is 20. So, turns out the capacitors are not a problem. It was the resistors. If you'd like to, you could go on and divide 70 by 3, and you'll find that it's 23 and a third, which again, is more than 14. So those groups might be, you know, bathing in capacitors, but they don't have enough resistors to do what they need to do. Each group needed seven resistors to meet the minimum criteria, and there were a hundred in total. So we figured out, well, how many groups of seven would that be? Turns out, it was a bit more than 14, but since we're not going to cut any of the students into smaller units, I promise. The answer was 14. 14 groups could get enough equipment. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why don't you send it to all of your friends? No, that would be weird unless they're all scientists. And if you have any questions about this or any other problem, feel free to hit me up in the links below, or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful.